take a look at this tournament. The 1992 versus 2022 competition. It's a, it's a, a league of four teams. Every team will play against each other once. And we will be in charge of the Milan team from 1992, of course. We are setting our hopes for this team because I am biased. I am one of, the, one of those people who think that football in the 90s were better than football nowadays. But I'm not completely stupid. Nowadays, every footballer is, is such so athletic. There's a huge difference in, in tempo and quickness, of course. And that will be a factor in this challenge, in this experiment for sure as well. Because all three teams are just much quicker. All the players are much quicker than the players from the, from the 92 database. Otherwise, this will for sure be a case of current ability versus attributes. Because in 1992, the players had some, some would say, overpowered attributes. We are seeing a 20 in finishing and stuff. He could look like uh, Lewandowski in the current database, to be honest. But some people think that the players in the 92 database are overpowered. And they are generally. But when we're talking about current ability, the players from the current database are much better. They have much higher current ability in the modern database than the players in the 92 database. So, as I said, this is surely a case of current ability versus player attributes. And that experiment I'm up for. Let's see what will happen in real life. In 1991 to 1993, this Milan team went on a 53 unbeaten run. I'm not kidding you. It, it's not football manager statistics. It's real life statistics. This Milan team were sure dominating back in the days. So this is the perfect team to test out against some of the best teams from current day. I like this. Something like this. Here we go. All right. Milan, 1992. Franco Baresi, Paolo Maldini. Here we go. Frank Reichardt, Papang. As I said, this I have no idea idea how this would play out. Five nil for City uh, for uh, for Liverpool. Five nil for for the Milan '92 team. Uh, everything can happen. Albertini with a free kick. He finds Gullit. Great shot. Great long shot from outside the box, but it was saved. And corner kick now from Albertini. Could we get Gullit to that? Not this time. And we need to be worried about those counters. Here is Liverpool. Alexander Arnold. Sala, Maldini with the clearance. Liverpool again. Joe Gomez with the cross for Mane. He looked offside. He was offside. All right. Now there's been chances in both ends of the pitch. 20 minutes in. Worked all right in the first half. But we do need to create some more chances. Liverpool has been in control. And that was a bad decision from the legend himself. Franco Baresi with a huge mistake. Why is it free kicks in that position is just so dangerous every time I've seen this before. I've seen this before. Firmino were awake, chipped the goalie, and it is 1-0 for Liverpool. They had momentum, and they capitalized on it. Here comes Milan. Albertini with a poor pass this time. Thiago finds Salah. Salah on the run. Back to Alexander-Arnold, and back to Salah. That was obvious. Cross it, see, crossed it in for Sadio Mane, and it is 2-0 now for the modern-day Liverpool team. Not so far so good over here, as I'm rooting for that Milan team, who is now down 3-0. It was from an header from Virgil van Dijk this time. And Liverpool are completely controlling. We had those two chances, that was it. Let's kick off the second half and see if Milan can change it anyway, anything. But what would you guys say? Is Liverpool the strongest team in the current database? Here is Van Basten. He needs to score on that. Oh, it's saved by Alisson. There were the chance, Van Basten. Finally, nice to see you have a shot on target. Donadoni corner kick. We can't get to it. Joe Gomez clears it. Lentini picks it up, though. Finds Baresi, who made their huge mistake. Who started it all, actually. Here's Thiago with the pass for Salah. Back to Firmino, it's 4-0 for Liverpool. We don't stand a chance here. We don't stand a chance here. Alexander Arnold would float it in there. Costa Kurta clears it. Here is a corner kick for Milan. Savicevic now. There's no one in there except for Virgil van Dijk. Reichardt now, Savicevic again. 
Donald Tony and Marco van Basten. As the lucky dog enters the picture once again. There you were, boy. There you are. Every time the lucky dog comes around, we score goals. Even against a much better team. You're so good. You're so mm, good. <laughs> He's happy as well. Marco van Basten goal. That makes me happy to see. The lucky dog has done it again. No, no, no. He just wa he wants to eat Doc Brown. He wants to eat Doc Brown. Yeah. No. You can't eat Doc Brown. But thanks. Thanks. 1-1 one, one in the second half, right? We need to take all we can get from this, but they're not done. What a save by Sebastiano Rossi. I can tell you, the Liverpool players' current ability are much higher than the 1992 database. Um, I think the 92 database wins and attributes, but maybe not completely because the modern day players are so fast, so quick. That's a huge difference maker, we know that. It was a rough start. 4-1, that was a rough start. We were actually just happy to get that goal. In the other game, Paris, uh, PSG beats City. And we are up against City now. Second game, second experiment will be Milan against Manchester City. Here it is, AC Milan 1992 versus Manchester City, FM22. Both teams lost their first game in this group. Which means, if we have a loser after this game, they will be out. I'm very interested to see how this goes down. I'm, I'm still believing in the Milan team. Now with the Dutch connection up on top. Let's see how this will go. Yes. Here comes Walker on the right side. Maldini is out there, couldn't get to it, Donatoni clears it, Cancelo picks it up, finds Phil Foden, he goes for the back pass, Donatoni now, easy with the, here is the counter though, Gullit on the ball, he lost it before, he does again, but Van Basten picks it up, and Albertini with the finish, 1-0 for AC Milan, Dimitri Albertini, what a goal, it deserves the golazo emote. Yes, please, Dimitri. Oof. Kulit lost the tackle. Van Basten picks it up. Finds Albertini and he just clubbers it. Up to the top of the net. Whew. They still, uh, they probably still lose 5-1 or 5-2 or something. But I gotta enjoy the, a goal like that from the past. Dimitri Albertini. Here is City. Costa Curta though. Foden picks it up. Foden on the run. Too much space. But easy save by Sebastiano Rossi. Gullit for Costa Corta. Raikard finds Donadoni. Could he get a cross in for Gullit? I would like to see that. Tassati loses ball position. Here comes City. Sterling for Gabriel Jesus. And it's 1-1. Beautiful chip. Beautiful chip. I think even it, it, it just touched the bar on the way. And it's 1-1. 10 minutes in. 1-1. We can't afford to make any mistakes. And we already have made a, made a couple City in ball possession once again. It looks like in the Liverpool game, they gave us 10 minutes where we were in it. And they just take over. They just take over. Sterling with the second goal. It's 2-1 City. God dang. Tassotti back to Costa Curta. This is more clever. And there comes the long pass. Rijkaard hits Lentini though. Lentini with a pass for Van Basten. Oh, he should have hit the target. It had been there. Five minutes of halftime. Donadoni got some room out there. Tassotti, Albertini. There comes Rijkaard. Oh, Van Basten, if he touched it, it was an offside probably. It was an offside. No, it was a goal. It was a goal. All right, 2-2 two, two it is. Donadoni for Tassotti. Albertini with the cross. Low cross. Rekard. Didn't it even hit Van Basten or what happened right there? I think it did. It did. And it's 2-2. Two, two. All right. Let's continue with the second half. 2-2. Two, two. This is not over yet at all. Lucky dog. Stay here. Stay here. Going to need you. Could be fantastic getting that Milan victory. Let's see what will happen in second half. Throw in from Maldini. Kulit. Back to Maldini. Finds Lentini. Who finds Marco Van Basten? And that's a goal. One minute into the second half. Second goal from Van Basten. And now we're up for the first time, I believe. We're up 3-2. Oh, we're up. Is this that 4-4, uh, 5-5 four, four, five, five game we will play? Because now it's 3-3 three, three immediately. Laporte gets his revenge. From a corner kick and it's 3-3. Three, three. Five minutes added. We are up to full time now. Five minutes of 
Ordinary time. Hulit loses ball position again. Albertini helps him, backs him up. Tasotti for Iranio. Another long pass. Papang get a chance. Get one more chance. Shop get Papang. I think it's I think it's in. It's good. It stands. It's the winning goal. We're in front 4-3. Everything changed after that Liverpool match. We seem to be outclassed in that game. But what a comeback we have done now. Let's just play the last couple of minutes. City will get their chance probably. Savicevic for Maldini. Move the ball around guys. Maldini you are way up ahead on the pitch. Hold it now. Experience. Their experience comes into play now. And it's full time. The lucky dog is right over there. That's why. That is why. They get their first victory. 4-3. Milan from 1992. They did it. I knew they could. I knew they would do it. I knew it. Let's see how the other game actually finished. It ended up with a victory for Liverpool. That's, that is that is all right. So we need a victory and Liverpool needs to lose to City. We need to beat PSG and that, that's how it is. It goes down to the very last, of course. Game. And now the final one, the deciding one. We need to win and City needs to help us. But we'll get back to that a little later because we need to win with a couple of goals. So let's see if that will be possible against PSG. Rijkaard, come on there, in there Rijkaard. Neymar for Messi now. It's being tackled, that was Baresi. That was the tiny defender, the legendary Franco Baresi. And Neymar with a poor pass forward. What an interception by Franco Baresi. Love to see that. And here he is again on the ball, moving forward. Finds Donadoni, all the way back to Costa Corta. Tasotti, Donadoni, can you get a cross in for Gullit maybe? We haven't seen that yet. Van Basten with a great finish. But Donnarumma with the save. Baresi here, the slow build up starts again. We'll get there, we will get there. Costa Corta, Albertini, Donadoni, there he tried to get the through ball, but they will count us immediately. Neumar picks it up. Wijnaldum, Virati for Messi. Oh, important save by Rossi. Tackle by Costa Corta. Keep on fighting, boys. Messi gets the wall. 1-0. Messi gets the goal. Messi gets it done. It's 1-0. 1-0 for PSG. But look at that save from Rossi. Marvelous save. Great tackle by Costa Corta. And Messi was just alone in there. Too much space. 10 minutes to go in the first half. Hulit moves forward with the ball. Tries to find Van Basten. And he powers it into the top corner. It stands. It definitely stands. It's 1-0. We answered straight away. Finally some magic from Hulit. It was a brilliant pass. Here he is. Finds Van Basten at the very right time. And he powers it into the top corner. It's 1-1. Very close battle in the first half. Here comes the slow-mo build up. Albertini, Costa Corta, Raikard, and there is the long pass for Donadoni. Now we explode. Donadoni for Albertini, crossing it for Van Basten. Oh, it seemed to be so close. That's the build up we like. Starting out slow like a snail. Very slow, and the explosion finally gets them. Oh man, this is fun. 1 1 at halftime. We have a chance. We definitely have a chance. Milan ball possession. Albertini for Donadoni. Can you beat your man, Donadoni? And get the cross into Gullit. There he is, Gullit. Hits the cross by Lentini with the finish. What a save by Donnarumma. That should have been a goal. That was a fantastic save. What a chance to Milan. Donadoni, more crosses, please. Get more crosses in there. You have Gullit. You have Van Basten. Albertini, Tassati, get it into the box. Van Basten with lots of space. Saved there once again by Donnarumma. Wijnaldum. Paredes. Verratti. All the way over to Hakimi. I can see a player who needs to be covered, marked. And Maldini does the job. Did you see him? Did you see? That's how he defended in the 90s. Fantastic. And he just, he's on the run. Finds Van Basten. What an interception by Paolo Maldini, everyone. We need to give him some love. Holy shit, that was beautiful. And we need to find a winner. It will go straight into penalties if this is not decided. Lentini on the ball. Moving forward, should pass it backwards to Maldini, here is Hulit, high cut, Maldini, yeah, down in tempo again, slowly, Costa Curta has all day, Tassotti, Albertini, 
Jonah Doni, and there comes the explosion for Van Basten. He can't hit, he can't hit the target today. We could have been in front with two goals if he has been sharp. But Donnarumma, man of the match right now. Some important saves he's made. Corner kick from Albertini. And there he is again, Donnarumma, with the clearance. Barres, he picks it up. Costa Curta. Yeah, that was a dangerous pass. Especially when they can counter us with players like Mbappé. But no highlight from that attack. Donnarumma. With the ball forward. Encourage both teams. Here's Albertini. Great run again. Albertini is the huge hero. He scores on the long shot again. We up 2 1. We are freaking up 2 1. It stands. He makes some fantastic runs from midfield, Albertini. That's not the first time we've seen him do that. Fantastic setup it is. And he has a shot on him, that kid. The lad, he can shoot. How in the other game? Yeah, we need City to win if we, have a, if we need a chance to win it all. That's how it is. We need City to win. That's, it's nil-nil over there. And we probably need one more goal. So let's get Savicevic in there. Also a set-piece specialist. Do we have one more slow-mo attack in us? Tasati. For Donadoni. Can we find one last chance? You owe us one, Van Basten. You definitely owe us a goal. And he misses another sitter. Could have used that one more goal. But as he wins the header, we we'll love to see it. It's full time. 2-1 victory for Milan. We won two out of the three games. Imagine what had, what had happened if we played the 4-4-2 formation in the open. I can't, can't help think about that now. It was 2-2 and City wins on penalties. <laughs> we, we were one goal. We were one goal away from... What, weren't we? Ah, no, they're plus far, Liverpool. All right, we were far away. We were far away, but we take the second position. It was well-deserved for Liverpool. They beat us 4-1 in the opener, so they're going to take it. They're going to take it, but City won it in, the, in penalties. So very tight group. Very, very tight group. What can we conclude from this first experiment? Milan did good. They seem to be so far behind in the first in the in the first game in the open against Liverpool. It seemed like they had no chance, Milan, at all. But we, my my, we worked us back. That game against City was a banger, and we did beat PSG in the last one. So quite fine display.